Hi there, Ian Dixon here. How are you today? Uh, today we've got a, a tip around getting referrals or how to get more referrals. Um, uh, if, that, if you're somebody that would like to get more referrals, then stick around. This is going to be a four or five minute video, no more than that. Uh, but it's just a strategy or a method by which I'm pretty sure if you follow this uh, strategy, you'll definitely get more referrals for your business. So uh, please do click on the subscribe button and ding the bell. Uh, but without further ado, we'll get into it. So um, I do spend a lot of my time uh, working with clients on how to get more referrals. I certainly know that most of you will get most of your uh, leads from referrals. I know that it's like, um, because word of mouth is one, one of the most popular ways in, in which uh, business comes to us. If we do a good job, people say nice things about us and then they refer business to us. So, right, there's a few, thing that, a few things that happen as a result of that. One is uh, because we do get referrals without doing anything other than a good job, we aren't very good at being proactive uh, asking for referrals. We just kind of keep our fingers crossed that the referrals are going to come and uh, of course they we do, we, we get them. But just stop for a second and think, if you were proactive with a referral strategy, how many more referrals would you be getting? So so I want to share with you a, a something that I call the referral triangle that uh, over the years has definitely helped business owners get more referrals for their business. And uh, it, it's actually, like all things that I share, uh, isn't overly complicated and it takes away all the excuses for not using it, to be honest. So the referral triangle, this is how it works. So you would like uh, your customers to refer business to you, I'm assuming, and just crossing your fingers <laughs> and hoping that, that they uh, refer business to you isn't really what I would call a business strategy. So the way to do it is to um, uh, create a triangle where you have um, your existing customer and they know people that you would like to come to you uh, through them as a referral. So just by crossing your fingers and hoping that they will, of course, and by doing a good job, isn't really enough so because the person taking the risk is the person is your customer that has experienced your your uh, product or service they are essentially taking the risk so so one of the ways to mitigate that risk is to incentivize them uh, but not only to incentivize them but also to give them something to give to somebody that incentivizes them to come to you so we have basically something that you need to give to your customer as a thank you, and then something that they can then in turn give to somebody in their network so that they come to you with this offer. So probably one of the easiest ways to uh, describe it is, um, you know, I'm just gonna round some numbers up. So um, so if, if, uh, if a customer uh, refers business and and they buy from you I'll give you five pounds if that person comes to me and buys from me I'll give them five pounds off so both people are getting the same value um, and the person that you have already got as a customer is the person that you are giving that gift to to give to somebody else don't wait for them to come and then say I'll give you five pounds off physically give them something to give to somebody, which is a voucher or an offer or some kind of flyer that says, if you buy from me, I'll give you five pounds off. Um, and then of course, uh, once they've come to you, you then need to honor that, that commitment to give the person that you referred the business, that's referred the business to you five pounds off too. That was pretty much it. It's, um, I call it the referral triangle. The person that, that is a previous customer is the one that's taking the risk you really do need to incentivize and encourage them and be proactive with your customer base. And one of the, a great way to do that is this simple referral triangle where you incentivize the person who has bought 
and you also give them something to give to somebody else that encourages them to come to you. So, so it's not just the level of service and the quality of the product that you've supplied, there is also a reward or an incentive to, because they are essentially taking a risk. So um, underneath that, just as a quick caveat, because I'm conscious we're five minutes in and I really wanted to try and keep it to five, you will get more referrals. This is like a, a bolt on, is a, is a bonus, if you like, a bonus tip, is that the more consistent you are in your business with, with your delivery of service, the more likely that people will refer business to you. I've sat down with two businesses identically, you know, identical in the same industry, uh, not at the same time, but uh, you know, at separate times. One's got lots of referrals and one hasn't. And one of the main uh, differences between the two businesses was how consistent the, uh, the referral based business was. So it wasn't necessarily any better than the other one. It's just that their, uh, their, all their processes and systems were uh, very tight and very strong. And so um, the person that had experienced the, uh, the level of service knew that if they referred business to them, they would get exactly the same level of service. So, whereas if you peak and trough, you're going to struggle. There you go, six minutes. Um, the referral triangle, if you would like to get more referrals in your business, one of the best ways to do it is to be proactive, be consistent and offer incentives but to both your referrer and your referral. So hope you found that useful. Please do ding our subscribe, uh, to press, <laughs> press the subscribe button and ding our bell. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you on the next video. Gonna say bye for now.